This is higher homework, it's practice paper B and we're on question 3 in the calculator paper and what we have is a, a vector question here so D has the coordinates 7, minus 2, 1 and F is minus 1, 2, 5 so find the coordinates of E which divides D, F in the ratio of 1 to 3 OK, and uh, right, that's the next part and that's uh, we're going to show that uh, E, G is perpendicular to D, F so let, let's go ahead with uh, part A first of all Okay. Normally when I would be tackling one of these questions, all I would do is I would just draw a rough line just so I get an idea of what I'm looking at. So there's D and there's F there. What I'm looking at is uh, E which divides this line into 1 and 3 parts in that ratio there. The way I would start it is I would be looking at from D, E, okay, from D to E, all divided by E to F going in the same direction. And that there is equated to 1, that side there is equated to 3, and then all I would do is cross multiply from there. So that would be 3DE is going to be equal to just 1EF. And then from there, what I would do is I would multiply out this one by 3. So remember what we've got here is 3, and then I'll just be using these vectors. So that would be E minus, and that's going to be D. And that equals, so it'll be F minus e. Right, so, so I've got 3e here, minus 3d, equals f minus e, when I just multiply that bit out. It's e that I'm trying to find, so get all e's on this side here. So if I go on to this side, I've got 4e is going to be equal to the f, and it's going to be plus 3d. Right, and then I'm just going to substitute the, the values in at this stage here. So if I look at f, so f is this one here, so I'll just look at the position vector for that one, so that'll be minus 1, 2, 5. And I'm going to add to that 3 times, and that's going to be 7, minus 2, 1, from d, which is up here. I'll just gather these all together, and what I'll do is I'll just divide it by 4. So I'll take a quarter of, and that'll be minus 1 plus 3 times 7, so that's going to be 21, minus 1 is going to be 20. So I'll just take these values from there. OK, if I, I work that out and divide it by 4, so what I've got is I've got 5 minus 1, 2. That's not in coordinate form. What I'd be then saying is, so E is 5 minus 1, 2 coordinates. OK, that's what I've been asked for. So that's what I need to, to put it into. So that would be that complete there. Let's look at uh, part B. Part B, uh, G has the coordinates 6 minus 2, 5. Show that EG is perpendicular to DF. So for this question here, what I think of doing is working out the uh, the vector EG, working out the vector DF, and then using the scalar product to show that it equals zero. If it does, then I know that uh, the, the EG is going to be perpendicular to DF. Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so EG, first of all, so that's going to be G minus C. And then just fire in the values, so the value from here, and that's 5. Subtracted E, and that's going to be the one that we just worked out here, so that's 5 minus 1, 2. And what I've got from that is, that should be 1 minus 1, and 3. I'll then work out DF. So that's going to be F minus D, which equals, I'll go for... Minus 1, 2, 5, minus, and it will be 7, minus 2, and 1. That should work out to be minus 8, I've got 4 and 4. Okay, so that's me worked out the, the vectors here. And remember, for perpendicular vectors, I'd be expecting that uh, the scalar product equals 0. So let's go ahead and do the scalar product of EG dot DF and hopefully that's going to be equal to 0. Right then, so I'm going to be using the components from here. So what we've got is 1 times minus 8 plus minus 1 times 4 plus 3 times 4. This gives me minus 8, that gives me minus 4, that gives me plus 12 
and there you go, we've got a zero coming out there. So since eg dot df equals zero, eg is perpendicular. Oops, perpendicular to df. Okay, and that's going to be out of six marks. Let's see where we're going to get the six marks. So first thing I'm going to get is for setting up. I'm going to go for that part there. So setting that that part up here. Okay, I'll take another mark for getting to this level here, and a final mark for for getting the coordinates. Must be in the coordinate form. For part B with three marks, I'll go for one mark for here, one mark for that vector there, and what we'll go for is one mark for showing that it equals to zero and making a statement to that effect. Okay, so that's going to be six marks for that question there.